den, bonjour, guten tag, buongiorno, hola, and namaste from your Indian chef Amol Chirisagar. I'm going to show you the recipe for tandoori chicken, which is also called as barbecue chicken or grilled chicken. So this is very well known dish in India, which is coming from a north part of India. Many people, you know, ask me, Chef, it is very, very difficult to prepare this tandoori chicken like a restaurant style with the flavors at home. My answer to all home cooks, guys, it is not as difficult as it looks if you follow, you know, the basic steps. So there are, you know, three steps for making the tandoori chicken. First step is to do the first marination which we need to keep for 15 to 20 minutes with some basic spices. Then the important part and which is a key element of this recipe is the second marinade which goes with a lot of spices, lot of flavors in it and we need to keep it minimum, minimum three to four hours. That marination with three to four hours gives a wonderful tender taste to the chicken and the last and the important element which every one of us like to enjoy to be make a barbecue on a grill then this marination goes on the grill to make our dish as a final tandoori chicken so now let me show you the dish. the first marination for tandoori chicken so for tandoori chicken you need the chicken I have taken here the 1 kg chicken you need 1 tablespoon salt 1 tablespoon of Kashmiri red chili half lemon and ginger garlic paste so it is very very important you know guys to prepare the chicken very well for tandoori chicken let me show you so I have taken this uh, chicken piece which is weighing not more than 600 gram so always remember when we make a barbecue or a grill the chicken size the weight should not be more than 600 gram because it allows chicken to cook well and you know it tenders well so that is the basic rule all shapes has to be remember okay now the important step remove the excess fat you know from this chicken that is very very important Okay, then you have to give these basic slits on the chicken. So three slits on the thighs, like this, like this, like this. Beautiful. One slit on the joint, very, very important. You see, this gets opened up. Now the three slits on the drumstick, one, two and three beautiful now very very important on the right term you have to cut this at the joint this is the white element you see guys this white element is called the ligament you have to cut this so the important step in the barbecue to make these slits to prepare the chicken in a very very good condition so this slits and the chicken is ready for the marination okay now it goes with the spices where i am preparing now the first marination one tablespoon salt now take the red kashmiri chili one tablespoon as per your preference for my european friends if you don't get the kashmiri chili in europe you can use the red paprika powder it doesn't matter that's okay one uh, tablespoon ginger garlic paste that enhance the taste you know and it gives very very good flavor and another important element is uh, lemon so squeeze the lemon juice here that will allow to get it marinated properly mix this uh, 
all spices very properly. Beautiful, look at this. Look at the color. Okay, so this is my first marinade ready and I'm going to keep this for 15 to 20 minutes minimum. Now it's time to prepare our second marinade. For second marinade, it is very important to get, you know, the hung yogurt. Many people ask me, what is hung yogurt? Hung yogurt is something, you know, you put the yogurt in a very thin muslin cloth. Hang it for minimum two hours, you know, and drain the excess water. After two hours, what you get? This is what you get, you know, the pure curd without any drops of water. That makes our marinade beautiful. Now, so we have to use the different spices here. So I'm going to use the chicken masala. It's a ready-made chicken masala you can get from any Indian store. I'm going to use the garam masala. This is also you can get it very easily from any stores. I'm going to use a black salt. This is optional guys. I'm not sure in Europe you will get it. And then the normal salt and one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. So let's start. So for the marination, let's put the salt. The chicken masala. Garam masala. Then let's put the ginger garlic paste. I love ginger garlic paste guys. This enhance you know the dish uh, flavors when we cook it. Now the important element put two tablespoon of you know extra virgin olive oil that will prepare our marination well. If you don't have the extra virgin olive oil Typically in India, we use the mustard oil. If you don't get it, use normal any vegetable oil. That is, that is too. Okay, that's not an issue. Let's uh, whisk this all, you know. But that will give us. So this is the marination ready. Many people you know ask me why you don't put the artificial color and many restaurants nowadays are putting artificial color. I am suggesting you guys please don't put any kind of color. I can assure you the first marination what we put with the Kashmiri chili it has already given us good color. When you will see our grill chicken at the end you will see the color is automatically coming. So I do prefer the color should come naturally. Don't put any artificial colors. Now dip the chicken in this marinade. Put into the slits, put it into the caps. So this is the second marination and it's ready. And I will keep this for minimum three to four hours. Sometimes if you are in a hurry and your friends want, you know, the barbecue to be very quick in the afternoon or in the evening, keep it minimum one hour, guys. That gives the proper tender uh, tandoori chicken. Okay. I hope my marination is ready after four hours, keeping in the fridge. Look at the color. Look at the color, guys. I told you there is no need of using any preservative colors or any artificial color. The Kashmiri red chili makes his job. Look at this color. This is what I wanted. Okay, so now the next step. I have this uh, simple barbecue setup at my home. If you don't have this setup, you can use microwave or you can use the oven. So first step, I have uh, some melted uh, butter here. So Preheat this and apply the melted butter. 
so that chicken will not get stick to it now put the chicken Spices. It is sticking and I hope this will bring us very good results at the end. I have also marinated uh, the chicken which I am going to use for making a next dish that is my butter chicken. So I am going to use this chicken for my next dish. The setup is ready to make my chicken is on the plate from my barbecue look at this looking very beautiful guys yeah so this is the tandoori chicken and this chicken I am going to use for my butter chicken I will use this so let's plate this so for final plating I have here cucumber lemon baby tomato and some coriander let me plate this lemon and finally I love this coriander in India 90 to 100 percent of the dishes are getting garnish with the coriander this is very very nice so this is my final dish as our starter as appetizer tandoori chicken so now Let's move to the next and final dish that is butter chicken. Hello all. Now we are reaching to our final uh, recipe of today's cuisine that is called as butter chicken. Guys, butter chicken is the most searched recipe on a Google for an Indian dish. You know British were ruling us in India and they were loving our food. So they took this chicken, uh, butter chicken as a recipe and they have given the name Chicken Tikka Masala. And it becomes UK's one of the favorite dish. Okay, now let me show you what are the ingredients we use for this dish. I have Indian bay leaves. Green cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, black pepper, I have coriander, I have a special spice that is called as methi, garam masala, Kashmiri red chili, I have ginger garlic paste and this is the special key recipe, this is onion, tomato, best so we have prepared this by taking two tomatoes one onion we put some uh, ginger we boil it and then we simply make the paste of it and this is the result guys we also need honey we also need curd and of course the main recipes ingredient is this barbecue chicken which we prepared on the grill okay so this is all ingredients we need so let me show you how we make this we approach to the final section of our recipe how to prepare the butter chicken okay so i have taken the pan here let's put two teaspoon of oil and let's put a butter couple of teaspoon don't forget guys this is a butter chicken so we are going to use a lot of butter here that's the fun element of this dish let me make the flame on a medium okay so i'm going to use the spices indian bay leaves 
grate the animal, everything goes to him. So let's toss this well. Okay, so now I'm going to put the key element of this recipe, that is this onion tomato and ginger puree. Spices in this dish is getting, you know, it will bring the aroma in this dish. Okay, so after a couple of minutes of the saute, <coughs> let me put the spices. I have here ginger garlic paste. I have here the Kashmiri red chili powder, which will bring the color to this dish. I have here the garam masala. Okay, so mix this well again. Okay, so let's let's keep this mixture, you know, to get uh, saute and prepare and the cook well. So let's keep this for another five to ten minutes. You can see after ten minutes, this mixture is cooked well. Now it's time to make a final touch. So I will put a curd here. I will put honey, one tablespoon. The honey makes, you know, it balances the dish with the spice and the sweetness. I will put one tablespoon of the salt. Mix this again well. Look at the color guys. Color is changing. Now I am going to add another spice, it's called Kasuri Methi, there is a method you know to put this, crush this, put it, I will put something for the final touch, sprinkle it, again one of my favorite coriander leaves, it goes well in this dish as well. Mix this. Look at this. Don't forget guys, the main element of this dish is our chicken. So I will mix this chicken into this. I will make the small pieces. Look at the chicken, how tender it is. So this dish is giving me, you know, a lot of aroma. We have added a lot of spices here and these spices are giving a lot of aroma and it is really looking a tempting dish to me. I always love this dish and I'm sure it's going to be a mouth-watering dish. The grilled chicken gives the smoky flavor for this dish. Look at this. Let me mix this. So dish is always almost ready guys. It's just uh, two minutes away from the final preparation. Again, I'm putting my message. Don't put any artificial color if you are putting Kashmiri red chili powder. The last fine touch I will give. As I said, this is a butter chicken. So I will put another round of butter to elevate the taste of this dish. Okay. So my dish is almost ready. I will put this kasuri methi. I will sprinkle some coriander. And this dish, guys, is now ready for a plating. Okay, now we are ready for our final plating. So as you have seen, our starter Tandoori chicken is already ready and served. So I have here a rice 
and Indian bread that is called naan. You know guys, we in India, for every Indian curry, we need rice and a naan. So, let me put the rice over here. Beautiful. And this is Indian bread called as a naan. Beautiful. Now, I will serve the butter chicken on the light heat. Let me plate it. So I have a milk cream, very fresh milk cream. It goes on this. Beautiful. I will use some ginger. Ginger adds some different flavor. And my favorite, coriander. Beautiful. Now, along with this, I have some again barbecue. Let me garnish this chicken. It goes very well with the onion. And of course, lemon is must. So, guys, we are ready with the Indian cuisine here. We have a starter, tandoori chicken, chicken tikka. We have butter chicken. We have beautiful uh, Indian naan. We have rice. So, I hope this all mouth-watering dish, you guys will try at home. I tried my best to explain in a simple way. I also tried to explain how Indians are preparing the cuisine. So it's my pleasure guys. Thanks a lot. Dekhiyoi. Namaste.